Yo, 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 what it do guys? What's good? What's crack -a and y'all? I'm at my local church parking a lot and I'm about to leave in a little bit, but I just decided to go around the block from, uh, from my place to show you guys a, uh, basically a video review, not a product review, but it's, it's basically an app and my old iPhone 4, and it, which is not really my iPhone, but I just say my iPhone 4. Uh, it's an old app in my iPhone 4 that I've used for the last couple of years now, actually, yeah, about a year and a half, almost a couple of years, and it's called the Speedometer app, as you can see right here. All right, now this Speedometer app, guys, it's a great app, and it works perfectly from my experience, okay? Now, it's an awesome app, and I'm gonna show you exactly what it does. Normally, I strap this device to my RC car, okay? So, this is what you see on most of my RC cars for my GPS or uh, as a GPS device, you know, whether I'm uh, putting it on the back of the spoiler of the E-Revos or onto the front of the Rustlers on the front RPM bumpers. This is what I use. This is what I strap to all of my cars to get my speed readings, okay? And it's very accurate. I don't know exactly what version it is, but I can look it up for you guys. Now, we're going to simply, well, I'm going to simply tap here. Okay, that's what it looks like. As you can tell, I already did 57.0 miles per hour earlier, okay? Now, it says GPS strong, timer, distance, and then you got your max speed. Now, this is the free version. You can upgrade this to, you know, I think it's like the 299 version or like it's like 399, something like that. It's like between three to four, three to five dollars. You can upgrade and you can get more music and extras, but I just go for the free version just because I'm using it as a GPS device. And like I said, it works just as good as a Garmin. And any other device out there, don't let anybody tell you wrong, or uh, don't let me, don't anybody uh, tell you that you're wrong or otherwise. You know what I mean? So basically, it's very simple how it works. So I'm going to show it to you guys. Okay? Now you have an option up here. You got miles per hour. You got the settings. You got that looks like a refresh or reload. You got another tab, and you got another tab. You got to start. Okay? Now if you hit this, that's going to show you. As you can see, no service because this cell phone's not service anymore okay you can see the time you can see the battery percentage which is 47 percent which is 47 percent it says general settings and then done to the right hand side in blue now you either have the option of going with knots kilometers an hour or miles per hour okay so as you could tell it changes right there okay from kilometers to mile from miles per hour to kilometer now watch when i switched back to miles per hour so you got 50 on urban 90 on non-urban, highway is 120, and mine is 145 kilometers an hour. So this is all kilometers per hour, okay? Now for the advanced settings, you have to pay for that app, like I said. The other version, which is like three to five bucks, all right? And you don't want to do that. You just want to go with the free one. It saves you guys time. All right, especially if you're an RCer like me, this app's going to be perfect for you. I figured I'd introduce the uh, the app to you guys and help out some of my brothers out there in the, in the speedrun game and show you guys what this app is capable of, okay? I really didn't feel like making this video, but I made it for you guys just to make things easier, okay? And this is for anybody. This this can be used for anybody. Anybody who's walking, jogging, they can have the device in their pocket for speed runs while you're sitting in the car to get the speed of your real vehicle. You can use this for anything, especially if your speedometer, like the one here, is not working, okay? So that's the speedometer to, uh, to the family minivan, which is what I'm driving right now. And you'll see here, as soon as I hit miles per hour, sorry for the cracked glass, it switches, okay? So from kilometers to miles per hour, all right? And then you got knots, okay? Then I'm gonna switch back to miles per hour, which is what I always have it set on, and then kilometers. So that's kilometers, that's miles per hour. My eye's itching, guys, I got itch of it. I can't right now. And then that's knots, all right? So you set up to miles per hour. That's the home button. You hit done. And then you're back to this screen, all right? So once again, you get a timer, you get the distance, you get the uh, miles per hour, and you get the, uh, the signal, which is all the way to the left. Now you get weak, and then in the middle, and then strong, all right? I don't remember exactly what they were, but... Anyway, you got to make sure that this is green and it says GPS is strong, okay? You don't want it to say weak or no signal. 
It's either going to say no signal, weak, or strong. Now I remember. So it's going to either tell you one of those three things, all right? So you just got to wait till it highlights green once you download and install it, and uh, you're good to go. You can use it as a GPS device, all right? So up here you got heads up display, okay? So you can either show a heads up display, which is what I don't use at all. It's really weird. I don't know all about that. So I don't really use it. I just uh, simply, I'm hitting the X. What's going on? Hold on, guys. My bad. Okay. So that's for the heads up display. It's not refresh. Then you got miles per hour displayed in the center. You got the clock once again. Then you hit this tab. And you got new track, tracks, pause counters. Uh, you don't want to mess with the pause counter. Trips. It records the trips for you, so that's awesome on this free app. You get new waypoints. Waypoints nearby. GPS black box which is also something extra. I think you have to pay for it. I'm not entirely sure. I just use the, uh, I just basically use the app just for speed runs, guys. I don't mess with all the other stuff, okay? I don't need music playing while it's strapped to my car. Then you got share my location, waypoint collections, work in background with the dollar signs, feedback and support modes, and done. Okay? So this is under that tab that you just saw me tap on. All right, pause and read for yourselves if you have to, guys, all right? So you can check this stuff out. So I hit modes and it says pick the desired mode to switch to tap on info settings button to find out more about each mode. Internet is required. Okay. So you need internet to access this stuff. All right. I don't know why that happened again, but let's go back. Okay. All right. I know the phone looks beat up guys. I'm sorry. So basically what I'm going to do is to to make the miles per hour 0, 0.0, all right, to reset the counter, this is all you're going to do, all right? And you don't have to have this set up on mine or highway or whatever. You can just have it set up to no limit, all right? So no limit. You don't need to have a limit, all right? Tap this to reset that 57 miles per hour that I did earlier today, and you hit reset counters. Don't worry about all the other options. If you're downloading this free version, just worry about what I'm showing you guys and what I'm telling you. So yeah, reset counter, and it automatically resets everything. It resets the timer, the clock, to when you're starting to do the speed runs or whatever you're doing, walking, jogging, okay, driving your car. It's gonna basically tell you for how long you've been sitting in the car driving, jogging, so and so, you guys get the picture, okay? Then it's gonna record the distance for you, which is also awesome. And that's gonna tell you your feet, you know, your compass, and all that other stuff. Your trips are saved right here towards the bottom right hand corner. All right, then you can enable iPod player. You can enable music, but I don't do that. Don't mess with that, guys. You don't really need it if you're doing speed runs for RC cars, okay? And you got miles per hour. So everything's a race, and this is what it's gonna look like when you start driving in your real car, you're walking, you're jogging, you're sprinting, or you're strapping it to your RC car, your hobby level RC car that is, or your new bright, whatever car you're putting it on to, to get your speed, okay? Now, you're gonna see me driving, guys. All right, you're going to see me driving, and you're going to see the speeds go up, okay? So I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to put my foot on the brake, reverse to get all this parking lot, and you're going to see this start to change. Just watch. It's going to go to like two miles per hour or more, or maybe even faster. Okay, you saw that as I was reversing. But you gotta make sure that the signal is strong. Okay. Now I'm gonna let idle and drive. You're gonna see it go a little higher, maybe around the same speed, a little bit higher, even like five miles an hour or so. Okay, as you can see, it recorded that max speed. Whatever I did in reverse and in drive. Or whatever the higher the, the higher speed was okay so like i said we we're going on average pretty much at 4.9 miles per hour now watch this now i can't do this while i'm driving it's a little dangerous guys hold up all right now you're gonna see as i'm driving it's gonna show you the speed guys all right and i'm gonna tell you exactly what i'm hitting right now so I'm gonna I'm gonna drive to a desired speed and miles per hour because it's set to miles per hour, and I'm gonna let you know what I'm hitting. Okay, 
So right now I'm hitting just about 29 miles per hour, 29 and a half. See, and it says 29. Now it's at 30. Now we're at 30. Boom. It just hit 30. You guys see that? You guys watching it? Pay attention. All right, now I'm starting to slow down. I got my foot off the gas. I'm reaching a stop sign, so I'm about to slow down. And I'm going to show you on my speed gauge, too, just so you guys can believe me, okay? I got to do this safely without crashing. So right now, I'm going to hit about 45 miles per hour. Okay, I'm going to go fast right now. You're going to see how it climbs, okay? Right now, I'm at about 37 to 38. That's what it shows in my speed gauge as well. It's almost up to 40, 39 and a half, 40. Boom. All right. So it's basically going to take the, the maximized speed, whatever you're doing the most of, and it's going to give you that as your max speed. It's going to display it. Okay, so give me a second, guys. second let me pick my phone up all right i'm in a parking lot of a school so let me uh let me show you exactly what it's doing all right let me show let me show you the numbers while i'm driving and you'll see what i'm talking about okay so you see my speed gauge right now i'm letting it idle right now i'm letting the car idle Okay, you can see that it's idling, and we're idling at five miles per hour. See, you guys can see that. But right now, it's going to show the max speed that we're just doing right now. What I just hit, basically, what I just drove. Okay, not we, but me. All right. So basically, I did. I averaged forty point eight miles per hour earlier before I pulled into the school parking lot. Okay, so it's not going to show five miles an hour. I would have to erase this and reset it, reset the counter for it to show five miles an hour. Okay, so you guys get it now? So it's very easy. So watch this. You guys can see the speed gauge, right? Now check this out. We're gonna go around 20 miles an hour, right? Check this out. It's gotta be sitting on a certain speed for a while for it to record. Just give me a second, guys. kind of dangerous what I'm doing but I'm just showing you guys how this app works all right because I want some of you to uh, to know how this app works and download it because it's a great app I highly recommend it in my book it's a go all right like Flossie Carter says it's a go so watch me hit 40 to 50 miles an hour on this street see it climbing right you guys can see the speed gauge right I gotta pay attention I don't want to crash, so. All right, so I'm hitting 50. Boom, I'm at 50 right now. All right, I'm hauling tail right now. I'm hauling, you know what? Now you see it dropping, right? You see the numbers dropping right now. So this is basically just a quick, well, not a quick demo. It's a 14 plus minute video, but you can see right here, Okay, so I basically almost hit 50 miles an hour, but it's accurate, it is accurate. I hit 49.5 miles per hour. I didn't hold it long enough for it to record 50 on the dot, 50.0, but it says 49.5. All right, so watch this. I'm gonna do 50 over here. Well, there's a guy crossing the street, but I'm gonna speed it up in a little bit. Just give me a second. Once again, it's a minivan. All right, so I'm doing about 52 to 53. I'm hitting the brakes right now, slowly. All right, I'm just 
trying to show you what I just hit. Like I said, I hit about 50 to 51 to 53 miles per hour. I said 52, right? So 52.0. So that's the new top speed. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative to y'all. That's my leg. Don't worry about it. I got big legs and hairy legs at that. And uh, that's about it, guys. Okay. It's a nice 15 minute clip. Hope you enjoyed that. GBT is out, baby. Let me give you another look of the sap real quick. That's just the, uh, the secret hole to charge, you know, your device, whatever you may be using. All right. I just came to a slow, came to a stop. Boom, now it's back to zero, all right? So this is the speedometer app once again. All right. It's right here. Get it to focus. There you go. All right. Incredible app. Download it. Look for it. If you have problems downloading it, drop me comments down below in the comment section. Please like this video, share it. You know, add it to your playlist if you're a creator like myself. And enjoy this video, guys, okay? I'll be coming out with some more unboxings and reviews shortly. Peace, guys.